welcome to our Monday Mass in Holy Week. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. To celebrate these sacred mysteries as we continue our Lent, and remembering the triumphant entry of Jesus to Jerusalem, and the victory that he shall offer to us at the resurrection. Let us come before our God, asking for mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the, the nations, not crying, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring our prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my salvation. 
When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Through, though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The, the Lord, Lord is my light and, and my salvation. salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Six days before Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead, he gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served with Lazarus, was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a litre of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nerd, and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with fragrance of the oil. Then Judas, the Iscariot, one of the disciples and the one who would betray him said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out he was there and came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's text from prophet Isaiah, we see God speaking to the pains his people underwent while they were in exile. The pains that he saw in them then sent somebody to free them, to bring them to liberty to bring them justice. And that justice was to be shared to the rest of the world. He delivered them from the bondage first from Egypt. He made a covenant with them. He protected them even through the wilderness. He brought them to the promised land. He gave them the land of Canaan. They became a holy nation, a people chosen by him but later they strayed away from him. And when they strayed away from him, they became captives of the Babylonians and they were devastated. Politically, socially, economically, and in their religious life. The enemies rejoiced over them. And some look at the punishment the people were receiving from the Babylonians as a form of punishment for their disobedience 
and going astray, that they were being punished for their sins and disobedience. This is what Isaiah is speaking to, is bringing them to their own history. After all this, he's telling them, look back to where you have come from and see where you are today. That I've been with you all this time. This time also, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to send you a spirit-filled servant who will bring you justice. A spirit-filled servant who is going to bring you justification of who you are, a people chosen by me, a covenanted people, a people that I've chosen for myself, that I'll bring you a spirit-filled servant. He reminds them that when he sends this spirit-filled servant, that justice that they shall receive, that light that they shall receive, that justification that they shall receive will also be shared to the rest of the world. And that light, that spirit-filled servant, is our Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit-filled, humble servant, comes to bring us light, to bring us justification before God, to liberate us from our dark past, to liberate us from our bad history, and present us to God as justified people of God. His death and resurrection is that assurance that we are being presented to God as a justified people in his death and cleansed by his blood. And Jesus speaks and says, when this young man who was in charge of the treasury says, this act of this lady, we would have sold the oil <clears throat> and then give to the poor. Jesus says, you have always the poor with you, but you not always have me. He's asking us to give him a chance, even if it's only one chance to give him a chance in our lives. There will be obstacles for those who follow Christ, for those who follow the ways of the Lord. There will be justified means from the world view of preventing many going to him. But the Lord strengthens us and he encourages us to follow. That is only in him that we shall be fully liberated, free, we shall be fully free as people of God to worship him and to gain the promised eternal life. May his death on the cross and his resurrection give us that strength to forge ahead despite all the distractions of, of the world, despite all the drawbacks of our faith as human beings, that we may remain strong. That when we look back at our history, when we look back at our lives, we confirm and say, Lord, you are my liberator. You have freed me from my dark past, and to you I present myself. Let us look at our past as the prophet encourages us, and that past reminds us how close our God has been, that he has never departed from us. Even when we go astray, he sends his servants to redeem us. He sent his servants to redeem them from bondage in Egypt. He sent a servant to free them from the Babylonian captivity. He sent his servant, spilled filled Christ, to free to liberate all those who believe in him from captivity of sin and liberate them, bring them to eternal life, to eternity. 
may our past be the springboard and strength to come closer and closer to our Lord, not a distraction. May God bless you, and as you continue the Holy Week, may you be filled with that grace of God and his love. May be you strengthened to witness and to share that light of Christ to all the rest of the world. That justification, that light should be shared. Share that love, share that light, share that justification that our Lord is Lord indeed, our spilled, filled servant, liberator from our dark past. Let us now present our petitions to the Lord our God. As we seek to be faithful stewards of God's gifts, let us offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. For the leaders of the church, may God's law guide them in serving, in truth and with justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may the love of Christ empower them in providing for those most in need of their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, may the comforting embrace of Jesus and the peace of his healing hand be upon them in their need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we be blessed with the grace we need to be faithful disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they be welcome into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, any special intentions you may have in your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mass intentions today, we have um, for Raymond Lozano, Alvin Kopecki, and Almas del Purgatorio. In prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. God, our Father, may you grant our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incur bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving person and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient fall is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated through him. The host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, O Lord, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with friends of the Pope, Gustav, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us pray to the Father. In the words our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And the cities in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Those who trespass against us, and lead us not temptations. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May we share that sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. And now, together with our brothers and sisters unable to receive the body of Christ, let us make a spiritual communion with them. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Come seek the tender faithfulness of Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, that with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. May you bow down for God's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Our Mass is ended.